we're going to do now is put in the cosmetics to show the friends list or not. So what we're going to do is make sure that we only show a friends section or a friends output display section only if the member has some friends in his array at least one. The first most important thing to do is go into profile.php and make sure you query out the array. I think it's right under YouTube in the database that field friend array. What we'll do is some if and else evaluation to see if it's empty or not. And if they have friends then we will display them. Okay so there's the friend array being queried with the rest of the data from the main query on the profile page. Now we can do this anywhere we want so I'm gonna go just for now on top of the doc type directly on top of the doc type I'm gonna put in a new PHP block okay we're gonna start with this logic assemble friends list and links we'll initialize as empty a friend list variable and that's what we're gonna echo out to the HTML part of the page to show the friend list or not and if they do have some friends we're gonna wrap it in those green and white divs that we need to to put into the layout so this if condition is checking to see if in their friend array if there's any friends or not so this says if the friend array is not equal to nothing that means it's equal to something and they have friends at least one so we're gonna get the friend array explode make it an actual array that way we can execute PHP array functions on easily so we wind up with a variable called friend count which counts however many items are in that array that we exploded here and that friend array is a string at this point then when we explode it it becomes an array we use the comma as a delimiter explode it and that's what the array is consists of all those friend IDs but without the commas but it's an indexed array then we can get easily get the count from that so we're going to display the friend count in the page real quick first thing just for testing okay so what I'm doing here is I'm building a little output HTML output for that variable called friend list and it's a div class for the info header which is going to make it this little green block and in that green block we're gonna say first name which in my case on my profile will be Adam Adams friends and then I want the friend count right here so I'm gonna put the variable of friend count to list right there then this variable called friends list or friend list I can go down into the HTML now and wherever I wanted to right above this div let's set add space right there I'm gonna put friend list echo out right there alright I'm gonna FTP and see what I get as a result okie dokie there it is Adam's friends five now if I go and I check my friends requests I have some more in here let me accept some of these here let's accept now let's refresh see how it says Adam's friends 5 if I refresh it should say 6 yes now I have 6 friends now it's a simple matter to make a white box using a, one of the white divs and put 6 or 8 friends into it let's get the code going for that and that's also going to be put into this friend list output here where we just set up this code okay we can use the array constructor here you can see this code outputs this to the page see this is my first four friends in my list their IDs and I'm just using the array constructor here to access those indexes so you see each array has an, starts with an index of zero so friend one is friend array constructor zero but you don't just want to go grabbing like that because we don't actually know if there's four friends what if there's only two friends in this person's array so I'm gonna get rid of this and I don't need to show their IDs here I'm gonna get their IDs using a different method okay this line of code here is going to slice our array we're using the array slice function on this friend array which could be an array that holds 200 friends but we want to make sure this array for display purposes on the profile anyway only holds as many as we specify so we can take the full array 
and slice it down to exactly as many indexes as we want it to have. And what's cool about this is when you slice, if the friend array is less than this many, it's not affected. So somebody who only has one or two people in their array, the slice will not occur on their array and the count will still be good. So if somebody has 18 friends, their count is going to be cut to 4 at this line of code. If somebody has 2 friends, their array is not cut at all. Only if they have more than 4. On the page where we're going to display everybody's, the whole entire, the whole entire list of friends, that one we're just going to explode the array and then show everybody through pagination. But now I can loop or iterate over this array which I know will have no more than four. If I go to develop PHP I'll show you where I'm going to get that code. De -de -de -de. Learn PHP section down in the working with arrays. Let's go into looping or iterating over an array. And here this is where I'm going to do it. Now this is what my array looks like, delimited by commas. So it's values delimited by commas, so I could just use this for each loop right there. And it'll act as a means to iterate over everybody in the array so I can go and get their, use their ID to go and get their picture, make links and everything. So I'm just going to grab this for each loop. We're going to put that in the code right here. There. Now I'll be able to access everybody's ID. Instead of that saying cart array, it's going to say friend array. Right here I'll just echo value. I already know what the keys are going to be. I don't need to access the keys. Let's say break. Value then break. Let's see what that does. Okay, you see there? It gave me my first four friends. Okay, so within my for each loop, this is the code I set up. And I'm going to change this, I think, for a table layout that's going to evaluate whether the index, which is i here, is divisible by two or not. That way I can break table rows and have a little more of a better structure. With this code here, inside of my for each loop, it gives me this layout. You can see I've cut my array down to six now. So I cut the array to six. I want six people here. I think I'm going to do a table layout though. That way I can more effectively keep things in order and maybe show the names under the picture. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break right here and then head into the next video, which will be the last one. What we'll do in the last one is set up a page where you can link to here which will allow you to show more of a member's friends. We'll make that page and we'll also make it to where when I go to somebody who's my friend already I'll go to add as friend would say remove friend. We're gonna make this say remove friend. Right now he's my friend already so if I try and request him it says this member is already your friend but further than that, we want this to say remove friend to give the remove friend functionality. When they click it, it'll give them a whole new window that'll say, would you like to remove Alex as your friend? You click yes, it's a new JavaScript function that'll handle the, the dirty work for us. So that'll be the last video for the friend system and that'll pretty much complete it. Then with people being your friends on the site, you have uh, the door is wide open for all kind of things you can do programming wise.